Potato cakes, yeah. Just Australian thing. Dog Beach. <laughs> Multiple vlogs. <Hi>, <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I thought I would do a couple of days of my life. So today I am in Main Street with mum. We just had an amazing brunch at Mr. Jackson, which is new-ish, like I've never seen it and mum said it's pretty new. So had amazing stuff, like the coffee was insane. I didn't even have sugar in my long black. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys around Main Street Mornington. There's always so much happening here. And um, if you are down for the day, there's just like countless things to do. and. So I thought we'd give you some recommendations and then for the next couple of days I've got a few things planned so I thought I'd make it a bit of a longer vlog and show you around the peninsula because yeah I don't think I'm going to the city at all um, this weekend so I've got a few things planned but yeah just having a mum daughter afternoon it's overcast but it's still nice and warm so I'm just wearing this dress from Sheen that you guys have seen with just some sandals I've got my little backpack on just having a really lovely afternoon and I'll show you guys some cute little stores it's all about like the the boutiques the handmade crafts jewelry food cafes but it is such a livable area as well it's sort of like the hub of the peninsula it sort of has everything that you could ever want so yeah we'll take you around and show you our best recommendations mum's calling the Maggie's I love them because I'm not a cyclist, but they do swoop around the baby time, but who can blame them? Like, I'd be protective of my bubbers too during the spring, but it is autumn, so they're not going to swoop anyone. Hello, Maggie. So cute. Alrighty, so we're going to walk up Main Street now. How, how long do you think it would be for the whole strip? Like 10, 20 minutes? It'd be longer than that. Like half an hour. I reckon. Yeah. But driving, like there's parking everywhere and it's all free. So you guys could definitely do all of it in an afternoon. <gasps> Got a spider on me. <laughs> Hashtag Australia. <laughs> we love having a spider drop on you. Um, <laughs> what? Is there another one on me? No. Oh. Hello. Just Australian thing. This your hood. Love you. Bye. If you guys are looking for amazing Italian food in Mornington, Doc is so, so good. It's huge inside. And they have a sister restaurant up in the city. But yeah, Doc Mornington, oh, the sweet pizzas are amazing. So it's very authentic Italian food. Can I ask a question to help with some reflection? Try to get in right then. Really what I'm feeling. Cause I've been feeling confused, wrapped in my mind. The best potato cakes I've ever had in my life from Go Fish in Mornington. Please. Yes. Or they're also called potato scallops, depending on where you live in Australia. But oh, oh, potato, cakes, potato cakes, yeah, potato cakes for a Melbourneian. So you heard it here first, guys. Go to Go Fish. You take them and you go and sit in your car and eat them with the windows down <laughs> so you'll still come and pinch them. <laughs> <laughs> the beach is just down there. This is kind of like the end of the Main Street Mornington shops. And there were the cinemas just there, which was super cute. But now there's clothing. So who would have thought? The boys for Bereki. Never really loved them. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> there's Mornington Park. Had a lot of fun times in there, great for picnics. It's huge and there's like an adventure playground there as well. But there's road work, so it's very loud. But look how cute this museum is. So cute. And that's been converted into a cafe, this little counting house, bar and grill. That's an original building. Fun fact, I used to go out clubbing there. That was the Bay Hotel. I used to queue up, that would go around the corner. So when I first turned 18, that was the place to go out in my area. And now it's been sold. <laughs> Shame. Also, cheeky fun fact, the subway is open until 2 a.m. on the Friday, Saturday night. So we would always go to the bay and then across the road, you would either get noodle box or subway at two in the morning. Yum, yum. So 
So we just went into Ideas by the Bay and it's so good for like giftware and like lots of Aussie things and very specific to the peninsula as well. So if you're wanting to get something Australiana or some prints about Mornington or the Mornington Peninsula, I would definitely recommend the store. The lady is so nice as well. And I picked up some treats. Yay! Zen Living is probably my favorite homeless store on Main Street. It is so nice and it's huge. You've got everything from clothing to baby toys to throw rugs, vases. So, so nice. So if you're at Zen Living, there's a little street just down here and Tutti Frutti is the best gelato that you can get on Main Street. It is so good. And then there's Mornington Central, which you have the standard supermarkets and just the chain stores in there. But yeah, this is beautiful gelato, so authentic, delicious. They've been there forever as well. So that's just on Blake Street off Main Street, Mornington. I can't feel farther away. Onto my dress the whole time. Oh, don't worry. What what is this beach called? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Okay. It is super windy, but Mum and I just drove down to the main pier of Mornington, the jetty, and there's rocks. So the rocks Mornington's been there forever. You guys probably can't hear me because of the wind, but we're just having a little bit of a stroll around. There's a sailboat just over there. But as you can see, it's very, very choppy and windy. So, yeah, this isn't really a swimming beach. This is more just for a walking trail, and this goes around a fair mile. But yeah, we just stopped to take a couple of photos. And yeah, it's nearly four o'clock now. But it's super quiet during the week. So if you can, I would come down to the peninsula during the week. But obviously, weekends you have to get here early. This is Mother's Beach. It is a nice little enclosed sort of bay area and it's called Mother's Beach because it's great for kids. We've got some cute beach boxes over there. Mills Beach is the next one down and that's where I would go heaps as a kid. My parents would drive up from the city and take me and my sister. Um, but yeah, you've got places to have a picnic there. You've got toilet block, showers I think are in there. And there's a trail that takes you down there if you wanted to walk or you can drive here and take your boat. There's an area to put your boats out. But yeah, all along Melbourne, there's this sort of bluestone, I don't know, wall around a lot of the beaches. But yeah, this is a very quintessential Melbourne beach. Nice yellow sand, lots of seagulls. And we've got all these boats over there, which is really sweet. But yeah, not many people here. It's not a very hot day, but yeah, this is Mother's Beach. Clouds just make it so funny. We found swings. <laughs> the best day of my life. How, okay, recommendation. If you see a swing, go on it. This is so fun. Oh, it's very hard to coordinate I like this. A yeah, but like my heart got the, like it feels like I'm on a ride, like a, a literal ride at a theme ride park. Ride, Stasha. <laughs> life is a roller. <laughs> just Gotta ride it all night long. <laughs> okay, Ronan Keating. <laughs> oh my okay, god. Right yeah, I'm feeling a bit ill. It's too much. Too much for one day. It's too much too soon. Oh. You know? 
Oh, that was a thrill. And then the beach is just there. We're sore and we're swinging. Hey, Mads. I feel like I haven't been on the vlog in a while. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Imagine the germs on that. Be COVID safe. <laughs> if we're trying. Honestly, let's, let's walk. I feel a bit ill. I told Elliot about these people. I'm like, the, he's panning for gold. Oh, he's digging. He found something. He's shoveling. I don't know. It's like Sovereign Hill. It is like Sovereign Hill. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> wow. wow. The content. Wow, the waves. The cracking. Friday friends. I just saw Maddie. We had a really nice beach walk at Karam. So it's not really the peninsula, but it's still somewhat near the beach. It's a halfway point for us um, for where we live. But for the rest of the day, I don't really know what I'm going to be getting up to. I'm seeing Anthea tonight. I am going to go to her place after after she has work. So I don't really know, maybe like 5 p.m. But it's only midday now. Yeah, it's midday, but I think I'm going to watch RuPaul with Elliot on Discord. So we're going to stream it and watch it because we love RuPaul and I need to catch up. But anyway, I'm going to drive back to the peninsula now and yeah, I'll take you guys along. Hello guys, I am at Anthea's house right now. Hi, Hi. this is Anthea Hi. and this is her beautiful doge. Everyone, Bailey. me Bailey. <laughs> oh, what breed is she? German short haired pointer. Oh, gotcha. And she was supposed to be brown, but yes, but what's her name? She really? black. She black. She definitely black. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, we're just about to head out on the town. We're going to Mornington, and I'll take you guys along. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bailey's not coming, but maybe one day. When she's drinking age. Yeah. yeah, she's too young. She's too yeah. young. So we'll put her to bed and then we'll go out. See what's happening in Mornington. Woohoo! Do you know the bay's closed? Yeah, it's been closed for like years. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What did you get? Um, quesadilla times tray. Tray. Um, the balaca bean. The spicy mm -hmm. margarita. Wow, is that is that a Mexican accent I hear? It's beautiful. Spanish. Yeah. I know. <laughs> ah, that's my bad. <laughs> hot autumn day. So nice. Happy Saturday everyone. I'm just down with mum and dad at Rye. I didn't really grow up on the peninsula. It was like my high school years were here but it is like I guess 20 minutes drive from where we live. So the peninsula is like such a huge stretch of beach. It's a long weekend. I had no idea it was a long weekend this weekend because my planner is an American planner so it doesn't have any Aussie holidays in it. So it's Moomba weekend, um, Labor Day in March for us um, Melbournians. So yeah, it's really, really busy but we just had gelato. It was so good. I had a Tim Tam flavor and vanilla boysenberry. It was so good. But I couldn't finish it because the dairy and me don't really mix. So dad was happy to finish that and oblige. Um, but yeah, the pier is closed. Um, 
think they're just doing upgrades on a lot of the piers around this area. I think overseas you guys call them jetties. They're such a beautiful day. It's only like 21 degrees, but it's so, so pretty. And the water here is immaculate. Like it's so pretty and clear and everyone's having a really good time. I'm so happy to be here, getting some sun in autumn. I've got lots of sunscreen on, so don't you worry, I'm being sun smart. I think we're just gonna have a bit of a look around, get something for dinner, and then head back home. I kind of wanna go for a, another walk tonight, um, but I might kind of, I don't know, maybe I'll bring Koopy to the beach and give him a little bit of a beach walk, because he doesn't get to go down to the beach that often because we have to drive, and it's like a bit annoying putting him in like the carry and putting him in the car, etc. with mum's carts quite low the one that I'm driving so anyway we shall see but for the moment I'm just gonna catch up with mum and dad it's so great to see people socializing and being with their families on this long weekend it's so funny there's like a family opposite me and they're using the crane as shade <laughs> I mean trying to stay sun smart why not but it's just very funny like look at the beautiful crane oh <laughs> uh, yeah a lot. Oh my god! He'll come out the other side. There he is. There we go. Oh my god, it's huge. It's huge. I know I am. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh my god. Don't show Elliot. Oh, they're so cool. It's massive. Oh my god. It's so. Yeah. It's huge. Maybe it's a baby. Maybe it's old. I don't usually cry at all. But wow, is it always close? Ranging from a movie scene to main a people in my dreams. The last time, if I recall, was a feeling of being alone. I don't know if where I'm going isn't far. Good morning everyone and happy Sunday. I am currently putting on my 50 plus sunscreen because I am going to the beach and I am blending to the wall. I am so pale so gotta be sun smart, never forget the ears. So today I am going to be going to the beach with Anthea. So you guys briefly met Anthea when we went out for dinner the other night. So um, she lives about 15 minutes away from me, one of my only friends that lives close. Because yeah, I moved around a lot um, after high school and lived mainly up in the city. So I don't have too many friends on the peninsula still. So it's nice to have a local gal. Yeah, so I'm putting 50 plus on my face because you know, no one wants wrinkles or skin cancer and I've got 30 plus on the rest of my body. So I'm just going to annoy mum or dad to get my back because I can never get my back and I don't like doing it on the beach in the sun. But yeah, just had a really quiet morning, watched some YouTube, had my oats and I've got some cleaning and other stuff that I need to do this afternoon, but I want to make the most of the sun. So it's going to be like 25, 26 degrees today. And yeah, I didn't really do anything last night 
watched the HBO series The Undoing with Hugh Grant and Nicole Kidman. So that came out in 2020, but I haven't watched it yet. Uh, so I watched that with mum and yeah, not much else. Just had an early night. I keep on having weird night's sleep, so I'm like really tired. I don't feel super rested, but knowing me, I'll probably... Oh, I can see Gus outside <laughs> the bathroom. Uh, what is he doing? Hello. Such a weird cat. But anyway, I'm gonna keep on getting ready and pack my beach bag and then I'll be off to the beach. Yeah, I'm ready. Vlogs. Multiple vlogs. <laughs> and Miss Vanji. Vanji. Yay! Just watch the foot. Can I have the foot? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, they're taking a photo of all the dogs over there. That is too cute. The fam photo! What the heck? They all sat in sync for the photos. So this is heaven. Um, and how did you find out about the dog beach? You just googled it or you knew about it? Because I've never heard of this before. I went here. I've never heard of there being a dog beach. Yeah, I don't even know if this. No, this beach has to have a name. I just. I, can't I don't know. It. But it's like Martha Cove. That's Martha Cove. Yeah, it's so that's the way the boats are going in. Cove. Yeah. So if you're driving down, you just take a left, and then there's a leash free sign. And then there's just puppers everywhere, just living their best lives. There's a friend. Hi. Hey. Hi. How are you? Hi, sweetie. Hi. The food. <laughs> We've got the food. So. Diesel. You like it, the body, the body scratch, the booty scratch. Doggy beach, dog beach. <laughs> I don't know. There's a puppy. Anyway, we're living our our best dream life with our dogs. Well, not my dog, your dog. <laughs> I'm just hijacking your dog. Yeah, auntie. So yeah. Like Bailey's out there. There are a few other GSPs here today. Oh, kids are playing beach cricket. Oh. Very Australian. It's a very Aussie activity. Oh, beach cricket. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's Bailey. Hi, Hi Bailey. Oh. Bailey's got a friend. Yeah. The border. Hi. <gasps> Where did your ball go? Where's your ball? Thank you. Home now from the beach. Anthea and Bailey went home. I think Bailey was finally getting a little bit tired. She was not whining on the way back home, but she, um, yeah, was really sad when I got out of the car. But I've never met a dog with that much energy in my life. I'm just gonna go grocery shop with mum now and get stuff for the week. And that's pretty much it. I don't really know what I've got on for the rest of the afternoon. Probably going through some old clothes, a bit of cleaning, because I spent a lot of time in the sun, so I don't feel like I wasted the day. And it's a bit hot to go for a walk, but maybe I'll do some yoga or anything. But yeah, I'll take you guys along for the grocery shop. that Aussies do Easter they really do Easter look at the range this is just Cadbury as well everyone loves Easter here <laughs> it's insane the free chucky So now I'm 
I'm half asleep. I have had a great evening hanging out with my parents. Honestly, I just, oh, it's, it's such a good time. I love being home, but um, yeah, we watched the end of The Undoing and I have lots of thoughts and feelings about the finale. So if you guys have seen it, please DM me on Instagram. Don't comment down below and ruin it for others because <laughs> I hate when people do that to me. But yeah, let me know what you think because yeah, it's a bit of a murder mystery for those. It's just not ruining anything and it's been out for like over a year, but yeah, uh, we watched it through Foxtel, but I think in Canada, I could have watched it on Amazon Prime, I want to say, or maybe Crave, but um, yeah, Elliot didn't seem keen. So I'm glad I watched it with mum and then dad just saw the last few episodes. But um, yeah, I had such a yummy dinner. We had homemade pizzas and they're just so good. You can just put anything you like on there. It's really yum. But yeah, overall, I had a great few days on the Mornington Peninsula. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of where I grew up, where I spent a lot of my teenage years, I guess. And it was fun catching up with some friends and getting a chance to be in this beautiful weather. I'm so excited to go back to Vancouver in the spring and just continue this like sunny summery vibe I am enjoying but thank you for yeah taking the time to watch this vlog and if you are new please hit subscribe before you go and if you are already subscribed I always forget to say turn on the little bell which is the post notifications because yeah I tend to miss videos from my favorite youtubers because I don't turn them on and then I miss out so that would be awesome if you could turn those on and yeah I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you in my next video bye